It's me. T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. Hey, oh, wait, this is official. Hold on. I got to do official. Hold on a second. What is it? Oh, a little tea from this morning. Some licorice tea, licorice and ginger or something like that. Mm. I got to get my uniform, my outfit, whatever I have you. First of all, put this on. All right, here we go. Home. One, one thing. This is an African report. I know I'm sitting in an undisclosed, undisclosed location, but it's an African report because I got my African hat on. This, this is an African hat. It's made by my wife. She's African. She's an African designer. It's an African with African materials, so it's an African hat. These glasses are African glasses. I don't know if they're really, but anyway, I bought it in Africa. I bought it in South Africa, Alice, like that. And this is a, just a t This is a polo shirt from from an African university. See, see how that works out. There you go. So this is an African report. Look, I was just talking to one of my folks. You know, there's there's a couple of audio drama revolutionaries on this planet. And, uh, you know, actually, there's only one, two, three, four, I think four uh, official audio drama revolutionaries. They even got certificates. You know what I mean? Um, and one of them is uh, uh, is, is Antebelli from the Duna clan. And he's in, he's in Cape Town. So I was talking to him, right? I even made some notes. He was saying, first of all, he was talking about the, the COVID, you know, with the, the state because they're on lockdown down in South Africa, right? And they, well, they're supposed to be loosening up this week. Like maybe tomorrow they open up back for work. Anyway, um, so he was telling me about the hot spots, you know, where, where they have the most the most cases, right? And so the cases like you have uh, Mitchell's Plains, well, Kai Leacher is a huge, you know, um, we call it township. It's a huge township. So so they got a lot of people there, right? And so that's one of the hot spots. Uh, Mitchell's Plains, that's where most of the, the, the so-called colored uh, area, then there's a hot spot. Uh, I guess uh, this thing with, is, is this, uh, oh, Tigerberg. Oh, Tigerberg, again, that's sort of like a colored kind of thing, but it's a big hospital. I used to live, we used to live um, in the old Power Valley, which is right down from, from, from Tigerberg Hospital. Anyway, that's another spot. Uh, Clinfontaine is another spot. Oh, and Danoon. Ooh, I have a relationship with Danoon. Danoon is rough. I mean, talk about township. Everybody talk about Kailicha and, you know, whatever. But Danoon, let me say, hey, hey, let, me, let me back up for just a second. One of the things that this uh, thing has done, at least for South Africa, is that the drinking has come down, you know? Let me see how bad South Africa was in drinking. Um, the, same thing with, 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 with Antebelli. Uh, he used to live in Danoon, you know, with the, also the other guy. Did. Anyway, I had, um, I would go, uh, I just had a car there. I just had a car in Cape Town. But I would go visit him. So like on a visit, we had stuff to do. So like on a Sunday, I never forget, on a Sunday morning, this is Sunday morning right now, a Sunday morning, I was sitting in Danoon waiting for uh, this other, this other, one of the other guys I work with, uh, uh, Zelani, to to uh, to come to the car, and I kept on seeing these people walk past, you know, walk, kept on walking, and I'm, so when the guy came out, I said, "Hey, man, what, what, I see all these people walking like that. They got bottles and stuff. Like this. Oh yeah, it's a bottle store. I said, well, where to go? A bottle store? It's like something like eight o'clock. Eight o'clock in the morning. Go to bottle? Oh yeah. <laughs> so anyway, what I'm trying to say is, the noon is rough. Okay, now Danun, you see how rough it is. I can I don't know the miles, the square a acreage, or whatever have you, but in a very small period of time, you got more than like literally more than a hundred thousand people, a hundred thousand souls, a hundred thousand, and this is Danun, black souls, black African souls, right? In a small area, and then these, you know, he have, he have, you know, they have maybe I don't know how many RDP houses that they have, but they may have, you know. 15 to 2 I mean, they, they have RDP houses Then they have the regular shacks Then you have There's no whole other houses there So you have all these people In one packed area Right mm -hmm. And these other areas too uh, One of the things The other things he was talking about was, was asking them about Is the way the thing is spreading Really In South Africa And where they have to Get it What's happening is basically the Western Cape is a hot spot, uh, Hautang is a hot spot, and some other places thing. But what happens, especially in the Western Cape, most of the people in the Western Cape, even in, in, in the Hautang, that area right there, they all come from the it's basically the Eastern Cape, where it's the stronghold for Tosa culture. Tosa culture is like the Eastern Cape. I live in the I live in the Eastern Cape, right? So that's that's sort of you know where where I'm, where I am in the village, right? But what happens with, uh, with the Eastern Cape, all the time, people from the Western Cape have to come to the Eastern Cape for funerals. For funerals. So, the, so in other words, what's happening in the world, 
uh, a lot of places, because you have air travel coming, you know, into the places, and they're infected by people from other places. And, well, in, in, in South Africa, it's different because most of the people have ties to the Eastern Cape. So when somebody dies, they come for a funeral at Eastern Cape. Even, in fact, they it's interesting in South Africa, really interesting, because now they're in a situation where they have to get, uh, how do you say, permission you know, like 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 old past laws, like permission to go from to go say to go to a funeral from the Western Cape to the Eastern Cape. They got to get permission from the local police station. They get a piece of paper, whatever have you, to go to go there. But the thing is, think about it. So you got people going to funerals in the Eastern Cape, where they're going back and forth like that, and so this the, the thing can spread like that. And like I said, places like Kailicha, like the Noon, you know, like like Mitchell's Plain, like that. Those places are so packed with people. <laughs> Now, okay, so that's one thing. But now I was talking to, but then it's all little spots like uh, that happening around Cape Town. But Antebelli, uh, this cat, you know, uh, of the Duna clan, I just like to say that. One time Antebelli was hanging out, he said, oh, I'm from the Duna clan. I said, oh, really? Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> it means nothing to me. Yeah, but no, this, this is a whole lineage thing happening with, with uh, in South Africa, uh, with, with the uh, coastal culture. That's how they do it. But the, what he was telling me, that in his area, people are not paying attention to no, 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 no masking or social distancing. Ah, and everybody's fine. There are no cases where he is in this particular spot. And this is still in, in, in um, uh, you know, in, in Cape Town. You know? So I thought that's quite uh, quite fascinating. Do I have any other notes here? Oh, yeah, that's what I said. So, so again, hey, this is really interesting what's happening um, uh, as far as how things are spread, how things are think, how people are thinking. And, uh, well, different cultures demand different things. So uh, let's see what's going on.